All right, so we just learned that stereocenters are a neat trick, but there's one complication. It's not enough to check for stereocenters. If you see there's stereocenters, you still have to check for a plane of symmetry as well. Um, so I guess here's our, our three cases. I guess I have the three cases here on the board. First of all, check for stereocenters. If there's no stereocenters at all, then there's no enantiomer. If the, uh, and you don't even have to bother looking for the plane of symmetry. If there's no stereocenters at all, you don't even have to worry about the plane of symmetry. You know there's no enantiomer. Um, if there's only one stereocenter, you know it has an enantiomer. Notice that there's no way you can be symmetrical unless you have two stereocenters. Basically what's happening here is the top stereocenter is kind of canceling out the bottom stereocenter. But if there's only one stereocenter, there's no way it can get canceled out because there's no other stereocenter to cancel it out. So with only one stereocenter, it would be impossible to have a plane of symmetry and you don't even have, you don't even have to check for that. So we know that that has an enantiomer. But if there are multiple stereocenters, you have to check for the plane of symmetry as well. And if you find one, there's no enantiomer. Okay. Let's look at this. Is this a chiral molecule or an achiral molecule? Chiral. Sounds right. Does this have stereocenters? Yeah. Does it have a plane of symmetry? No. That's good. Um, a lot of students get this wrong. A lot of students think that this is still the plane of symmetry, but it's not because if the top half of this molecule looked in the mirror, it would not see a picture that looks like this. If the top half of this looked in the mirror, it would see a picture with a wedge down here, not with a dash. So you only have a plane of symmetry if, if you have one half that is perfectly symmetrical to the other half. It's not good enough to be kind of almost symmetrical. This, in this case, the top half is perfectly symmetrical to the bottom, so that um, is a uh, plane of symmetry. But in this case, um, the top half is not um, symmetrical, not perfectly symmetrical, so there's no plane of symmetry. So we know this is an A, no, this is a chiral. Unfortunately, when you say that something is a chiral molecule, that tends to sound like a chiral. I, I gotta be careful about that. So if we have this chiral molecule, There's stereocenters, and there, these stereocenters are not canceling each other out because there's no plane of symmetry. So this is indeed a chiral molecule. Okay. Does this have an enantiomer? Yes. Yeah, so this has an enantiomer. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the terminology you wanted to talk about. So um, you wanted to talk about the idea of being meso, right? Now, what is the definition of meso? Well, the definition of meso is exactly this, where you have both stereocenters and a plane of symmetry. So even number of stereocenters, or does it have to be two? It doesn't have to be an even number. It just has to be more than one. Well, why would three stereocenters have a plane of symmetry? Well, you might have a point there. Let's see. Is there any way to have an odd number of stereocenters? You know? I think I was wrong and you're right, yeah. I, I think there is no way to be symmetrical if you have an, an odd number, so I think you're right. You have to have an even number of stereocenters. Of course, you could have an even number of stereocenters and still not have a plane of right. symmetry, like we do here, but, but that's actually a good point. So I, I said that um, this type of molecule is a molecule where all of the stereocenters are canceled out by another stereocenter. But that can only happen, just like you said, if there's an even number of stereocenters. So, so you were right, that's a good point. That's not something you have to check for separately because if you found the plane of symmetry, it'll just, uh, that's all you need. Uh, but that you're right in that case, it, it will have an even number. So I mean, let's be very clear about this definition. Meso means that you both have stereocenters and a plane of symmetry. Okay. So is this molecule meso? Yeah. Why not? What's it missing? It doesn't have any stereocenters. That's right. This actually does have a plane of symmetry. But who cares? It doesn't have stereocenters, so it's not meso. Um, how about this molecule? Is this meso? No. What's it missing? Um, it's like a stereocenter. Or a plane of symmetry. Yeah, that's right. Um, it does have a stereocenter, uh, but it doesn't have a plane of symmetry. We could have told that because with only one stereocenter, there's no way to have a plane of symmetry. Is this molecule meso? No. What's it missing? Right. 
we tried to write a plane of symmetry, but this failed. It's not really a plane of symmetry. Okay, so um, this is the definition of what it takes to be, uh, of what something is if it's meso. Okay. Okay, that was the brief synopsis I needed. example. Um, is this a chiral or an achiral molecule? It is. These are dashes on the sides. Can you cut a carbon in half? Yes. Okay, so then it's a chiral. No, no, because That out. Does this have any stereo centers? Three. No. Two. Yeah. You're right. This in the center is not a stereo center because the left hand path is the same as the right hand path. But these two over here um, with the dashes, these are both stereo centers because they have different paths in the clockwise and counterclockwise direction. So we do have stereo centers, but we still have to check for a plane of symmetry. Is there a plane of symmetry? Yeah. Yeah. And you noticed here that it is vertical. I wanted to go over this because a lot of students are uncomfortable with, about this for the same reason you are. They don't like having a plane of symmetry that cuts across a carbon. But it's perfectly okay for this plane of symmetry to cut across the carbon. You can almost think like half the carbon is on the left of the plane of symmetry and half the carbon is on the right of the plane of symmetry. What if it was CF? Would it still be, if you had like a, an F substitute, could you still cut it in half like that? Yeah. Okay. That's right. In fact, that's a good question. I'll draw a picture of that in a second, but that's a good question. All right, so this has stereocenters and a plane of symmetry. So um, is this a chiral or an achiral molecule? Um, achiral. Because of the plane of symmetry. Yeah. So it doesn't have an enhancing ring. Yeah. Now, when you first analyzed this, you, you figured out that it, it was uh, that it had a plane of symmetry, but you just mixed up whether that meant that it had an antimer or not. So you I want to take your time. Yeah. But Notice how for each of these problems, I'm actually working out the thought steps on paper. So that might be something you want to do when you're taking the test, because yeah. otherwise it's easy to, to get confused in your mind, and you could get one step right but still get the next step wrong. By the way, is this molecule meso? Okay. Because it has stereocenters in the plane of symmetry. Now to answer your question. Oh, so then there we go with three. So you can't How many stereocenters? Oh, no, there's only two stereocenters. Yeah, so you, you were right originally. I was thinking, when I said that you could have an odd number, I was thinking of this molecule, but I was making the same mistake maybe you were making a second ago. I thought this was a stereocenter when it's not. Yeah, something that's on the plane of symmetry can't be a stereocenter because the left hand path has to be the same as the right hand path. Otherwise, it wouldn't really be on a plane of symmetry. Now, let's get back to the question you asked. You were asking something about like a CF. Were you thinking about something like, uh, I don't know, like this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is still meso. What if it was like, what, In was fact, it, what if it like? This could be anything. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't it matter what it is. Um, it's still, yeah, um, because I could still rotate this little, um, I could still rotate this carbon chain so that it would be pointing, say, straight out of the board and then the left-hand side would be symmetrical to the right-hand side. So a molecule has a plane of symmetry if there is any way it can rotate so that the two sides are symmetrical. Obviously, obviously the way I've written this, this is not symmetrical. But the way I've written this, it obviously is not symmetrical because the carbon chain is pointing to the right and not to the left, but the carbon chain could rotate so that it was just pointing out of the board and then it would be symmetrical. So if you can see any way the molecule could rotate so that it would be symmetrical, then you would say that it has a plane of symmetry. In fact, this is still meso. 
This is still meso. What did you, what did you just draw? Sorry. I just drew another substituent right. back here. So this is still meso um, because we can still put both of these substituents right on the chain on the plane of symmetry, um, so that they're not really extending to the right or to the left. Um, yeah, so oftentimes people don't realize something is meso when it is. So this is still meso. Okay. Okay, any other questions about that? No. Okay, that good. Makes sense. Well, I would recommend uh, in a couple days coming back and just going through all these examples all yeah, over again and making yeah. sure that you can quickly identify these. These videos are offered on a pay what you like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.